from Angel Stadium in Anaheim. Baseball comes your way on a Wednesday afternoon. It's the Tampa Bay Rays and the Los Angeles Angels. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. All right, just about ready for baseball. And the pitcher here today, Jose Suarez. Chris, what are you looking for from him? Well, they're going with the opener in this one, so this is an interesting look. He's probably only going to pitch in any, maybe two at the most, and it's going to be unconventional. I think he's going to pitch backwards, more off speed, and then fastballs late. Now it's the DH, Yandy Diaz. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Diaz tries to hold up, appeal to first. He did not go around. On the ground to the left, and that's just foul. Here's a 1-1. One -one. And another ball. Strike on the inside corner. He's dealing with a great two strike hitter right here. The strikeout is not automatic. Swing and a miss struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Lau at the plate. Breaking ball inside. Ball one. One down, base is empty. Lifted in the air, right field. Moniak sizing this one up. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Now a look at Kevin Cash's lineup for the Tampa Bay Rays. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with the runners on base. So they need a player or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. Harold Ramirez at the dish. And the lefty with the 0-1. Here's a rocket out to left. Ward pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that is that. Down in order go the Rays. And now the Angels will get their first opportunity in this one. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Angel Stadium. And on the hill in this one, Ryan Pepio. What do you look for here? Well, just a three-pitch mix in his arsenal, which, you know, it's not a lot for a starter. So always very important for him to have a good feel and command all three. Sometimes you can make that three look like four if you add or subtract a and little bit of velocity on one. But, you know, one thing about it, it can be easy to get too predictable out there on the mound. So hitters are aware of that. Mixing those three pitches in all counts is going to be a big key for him in this one. Anthony Rendon, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. And the 1 0. Swings through that. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms one extended, ball, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. That one's in there. One and two. Three. Swings and misses. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Nolan Shanowell, batting with one down, takes a strike. A 
fastball for a strike. And the count is 0-2. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. The pitch. In for a strike. And a count one and one. Looks really sharp at the start of this one. This is how it's going to be today. It's going to be a tough one for this lineup. Fouls it off. Still one and two. Two out spaces empty. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Siri in position. And he makes the catch. And that's the inning. End of one. And we're still scoreless. Back in Anaheim, digging in. Isak Paredes. Isak. Paredes. The wind and the pitch. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. The 0 1. And that's outside. Eric Summers Gill with home plate duty in this one. Kind of known for being generous with the corners, Chris. You know, I think that used to be a lot bigger deal in past eras where pitchers were working more in and out with their pitches. But yeah, we'll see if those corners come into play in this one. Hey, no pitcher's going to argue at all. There's the swing and a miss. Chris, do players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring, or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? I'd say the latter because the pitcher's got to pitch to her strengths regardless. The hitter's got to hit to his strength. So you're aware of it, but you have to just hunt for what you can handle. Now the left fielder, Richie Palacios. Way yep, high. And that's in for a strike. Bunting, and it's right in front of the plate. And it that goes just foul. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. No score here in the second. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Two gone now. Off to a strong start, Singy, as he's punched out three of the first five he's faced. Well, he's definitely minimizing contact. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but he'll also keep the defense fresh behind him, allowing some balls in play as well. Jose Caballero, the next to hit, takes ball one. Late on that fastball. I think he was sitting off speed there. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One ball, two strikes.
And a ball in two strikes. Got him swinging. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. We head to the bottom of the second. So now the angel cleanup hitter, Taylor Ward. Taylor. The right-hander back to work. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Great effort out there as he tries to reach and haul this one in, but just can't extend far enough. I think it started with a bad read off the bat, which led to a bad jump, bad angle. And that cost him right there, extra bases. Brandon Drury to the plate. Hey. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Oh and one. Slider misses outside. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. Bottom half of inning number two. That oh, one misses. Two and one. They that tried to get him three. to chase on a slider down and away. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Downstairs, and it misses ball four. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. Matt Theis comes up to hit here. Fall off foul. First and second here, no outs. That one catches the zone. That's strike two. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Over near the wall. And that is a big first out. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Two on, one out. Here's the Angels catcher, Logan Ohapi. And fouled off. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. On the inside corner for a strike. One and ball. that skips in the dirt. <laughs> Struck him out. Well done behind the dish. Oh, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. And now, Mickey Moniak. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. Oh, 
Left hand batter waits. Next pitch in for a strike, and it's one and one. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. And that is in for a strike. And it's one and two. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. The one two. And another ball. Two on, two outs. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. And they're all loaded up. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Oh, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Two outs, bases full. Zach Neto, the next to hit for the Angels. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two outs, bases are full. That misses the zone, and it's 2-0. and oh. Pressure's on right here. 2-0 count, base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three-ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. At the belt and fires. Right through there for a strike. That one missed. Look, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. Base is loaded. Two down. Ball four, and a run comes in to score. They obviously were in a pretty great spot to take the lead right there with the bases loaded, and I'll say that was a good, patient at-bat to draw the wall. And you know what? Still counts as an RBI. On the ground. Base hit. One run is in. Here comes the throw. Save. 3-0. Oh, well, a huge two RBI swing of the bat right there. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. So two outs with runners on the corners. And next for L.A., Nolan Shanuel. Ball one there. Corners are occupied with two down. And now oh, two and nothing. Out. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. Good eye right there. Mike Trout up next for the Angels. Runners on first and third, two away. And down on strikes he goes. And that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. Three runs for them here, and they move ahead. We play two full. It's the Angels three, the Rays nothing.
New inning getting started. Now it's the rookie first baseman, Austin Shenton. Austin. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Counts one and oh. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. And oh. that one missing low. Check. On the ground, the first. Shanowell takes it to the bag and one away in the top of the third. Batting it. The center fielder, Jose Siri. And now it's Jose Siri. Singing, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. And that's downstairs and outside. So how much does his speed factor into his ability to go get it? It's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat, he thinks this ball is going to get down. Because of that speed and the ability to make up so much ground, he enters the picture and breaks a guy's heart. One ball, one strike. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Got it done. The catcher, Ben Wurtvet. Two outs, base is empty. Ben Wurtvet next to hit for the Rays. Wurtvet goes five feet, nine inches, 190 pounds, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born nope. in Wisconsin. And ball one. Outside corner, there's a strike. That's excellent one location one. on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, should be a good outing for him. Off the mark there, and a count two and one. Just Whoa, missed. Yandy Diaz, next to bat for Tampa. The Angels leading by three. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Out to short, Neto. Rays oh. retired in order. Nine straight retired here to start the game. It's the Angels three, the Rays nothing. As we go to the last of the third, here's Trout. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. Pepio back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Trout is one of the best players of his generation. He's a fan favorite because he brings a rare combination of speed, power, and all-around talent to the team. He's exactly the type of player you want to build around. And a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Taylor Ward. Ball First one. pitch doesn't find the zone. Counts one and oh. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Two balls and a strike. Two one. The pitch. That one rip, but foul. Two two down. That one off the bad part of the bat, just a lazy fly ball. Ramirez pulls it in on the run. Now batting, the second baseman, 
Brandon Drury. And next for the Angels, Brandon Drury. He walked and came around to score his first time up. Pepio throws He's over there. and diving back is Trout. Go Chris through the early stages. He hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper no into this game. Down. Just missed. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. That one hammered center field. Siri going back on it. Off the batter's eye and gone. And they boost their lead. It's five zip. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. Just an excellent swing all the way around. And it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Next is the designated hitter, Matt Thice. He popped out his first time. That one fouled off. Nope. Next offering Ball misses, one. and the count is one and one. Two runs across in the inning here in the last half of the third. There's a strike. Whoa, they threw that one behind him. There's a swing and a drive. And it slams off the bottom of the wall. Fires the second too late. And he's got a double. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one. Ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in the mechanics. The left-hander on now, Tyler Alexander. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Man at second with one away. And here's the catcher, Logan Ohapi. Lifted in the air, right center field. Ramirez moves towards it. He makes the grab. Runner tagging for third. And he moves up to third, now two away. Now batting. Right fielder, Mickey Moniak. So in now for the Angels, Mickey Moniak. The walk and a run scored his first time. Late swing, foul to the left. Two outs. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. The pitch. And that's outside. It's a good take. In the air, center field. Siri in position. He's got it. And that is that. Two run shot for the Angels this inning. And the lead is now 5 0. Major League Baseball is on the show.
And we're back. Leading John Chompy with Chris Singleton, Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Yandy Diaz. 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 The wind of the pitch. Hey. And clips a corner. He's pitching well, oh, but not throwing count. a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And oh, foul out. ball. The wind to kick the pitch. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. The pitch. And one that ball. one almost hit him. Straighten him up a little bit. Fly ball to right. Moniak makes the grab, and there's one away. The batter number eight, second base. And Brandon now it's Brandon Lau. Lau. He's 0 for 1. There's a strike. 0 and 1. Next offering ball, misses right. down and away. Just missed. We got two balls, one strike. He swings and fouls one off. One down, base is empty. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Popped up. Under it. And there's two down. Up next for Tampa Bay, the right fielder, Harold. Two Ramirez. outs, base is empty. Now here is Harold Ramirez. He's over one. Hey. Strike one. All ones the count. The Halos leading by five. Top half of inning number four. Sweet. Back up the middle in a base hit. Right there, he does a great job oh, of staying in the big part bed. of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Runner at first with two away. Now here's the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Isaac Paredes. Line to left. And that gets down for a base hit. The throw is wild, and it gets away. And that keeps the inning alive. The left field, number one. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Richie Palacios. And that one clips the corner. The pitch. And strike two. two. One ball, two strikes. Rip to short. They get the force, and that is that. So the Rays strand a pair. Still looking at that five nothing deficit.
And welcome back and to the ballpark. Bottom four, Angels. and the batter will be the, the shortstop, shortstop, Zach Neto. Neto. As the lefty gets to work, pitch Ball. misses, ball one. Swing and a miss, strike one. The shortstop Inside. takes a ball. I see you win. Two balls, two strikes. In the air of the infield. One down. Now batting. The third baseman. Anthony. So the lineup flips over. Rendon. Now it's Anthony Rendon. One for two. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. And a ground ball to first. Tosses to the He's pitcher out. covering the bag. Already two gone now here in the home fourth. The first baseman, Nolan. And next for L.A., Nolan Shanuel. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts? That one finds the zone. Strike oh, one. one. And the pitch is outside. outside. Ball one. Bounce to the right. Loud. Sends it to first. Angels retired. One, two, three. Angels go quietly there as they are unable to add to their 5 nothing lead. Back here at Angel Stadium and stepping in is the speedy Jose Caballero. Suarez back to work. And a foul ball. Well, these Rays, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Next offering is in for a strike. On the ground at first. And he takes it himself for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And here's the first baseman, Austin Shenton. 0 for 1 so far. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. They got it for out number two. Now batting the center fielder, Jose... Now up for Tampa Bay, Jose Siri. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First pitch misses. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Just off the inside edge. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Shanuel makes the play, and that is that. Rays go in order. One, two, three. It's five, nothing.
Back in Anaheim, we head to the bottom of the fifth, and now batting Mike Trout. Great speed and great power, a great athlete, quite simply. And the pitch. Right through there for a strike. He's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent, so much fun to watch. In the air, left field, down the line. Palacios brings it in with a nice running grab. The left fielder, number three. So here's the cleanup hitter, Taylor Ward. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Brandon Drury. He's already homered here in this one. And it's fouled away. And a foul ball. That one misses, ball. and Two that's strike. ball one. Man at first, one away. That's Wouldn't chase ball. that time. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout, just didn't locate it very well. That one out to right. Ramirez sizes this one up, drops into the glove. And there's two down. Now batting, the designated hitter, Matt. And now the DH, Matt Theis. And first offering is fouled off. Left hand hitter waits. Gets the outside corner with that one. Pitch misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Two outs. And another ball. That one misses. Ball three. Three two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. This one lifted in the air, left field. Brings it in. And that will end the inning. Angels leave one, but they hold a 5 0 lead. Top of the sixth inning, and now Ben Workvet. Ben Workvet. And he deals. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Well, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected, and the hitters just don't seem to have the right game plan. They're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. And that's a little bit high. And the count even one and one. And a pitch. Foul ball. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Foul ball still a one and two count. Swing and a miss struck him out. 
couldn't catch up to the heater. Came inside with that two strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do it's a foul ball and you know a lot of pitchers they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter and when they've got him up against the ropes got to figure out a way to put them away did a nice ball job one, right no there strike. Diaz up for the third time and takes ball one down the line and a foul ball. One down, base is empty. And that one fouled off. Three. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. No, oh, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. Here's the second baseman, Brandon Lau. And that one in the air center field. Trout settles under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll do it. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. Angels five, the Rays nothing. Well, we go bottom and six. And Logan now Angels. it's going to be Logan Ohoppy. Logan Ohoppy. And a pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Hauls it in for the out, and there's one down. The right fielder, number 16. Mickey Thank Moniak, you. the next to hit Moniak. for the Angels. Moniak, in his third season, 25 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2016. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. And a pitch. And yep. another ball. And now a little barking back towards the umpire. Clearly thought he got that outside corner on. What was a pretty big pitch? Sometimes that only makes it worse for you moving forward, but it can also open up that location in the future if the umpire thinks there's a chance that he missed it. Lau settles under it and makes the catch. And a couple of quick outs. The batter number nine. Shortstop. Zach. Two outs, base is empty. And next for the Angels, Zach Neto. That clips the corner. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. In there at the knees. And it's not again two. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Two down, nobody on. Struck him out. He says, I don't care about draft rounds. Take a seat. And welcome back to the ballpark. We go to the top the right of the fielder. seventh, and now the right Harold. fielder, Harold Ramirez. Suarez, back to work. Nope. Wouldn't chase that time. Next pitch is outside. Sliced hard, but foul.
That one pushed foul. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. Now this is in the air down the line and that's a foul ball. Kicks and fires. That one not close. Three and two now. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Ward drifts towards it. Hauls it in for the out. The batter, the third baseman. Isaac, Isaac Paredes now. Paredes. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. On a line out towards center. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. Ground ball, left side. And that's just foul. The Angels leading by five here in the top half of inning number seven. Edge of the zone, call the strike. Oh, with two now. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Left hand batter waits. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. And now the lefty knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Foul ball still 0 and 2. They One tried ball. to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Line drive caught. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. And stepping in for the Rays, Jose Caballero. The shortstop takes a ball. That Whoa, misses. That's, yeah, that's ball two. That's a little bit low. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Next offering is in for a strike. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. He's got it, and that'll end the inning.
are back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Number 40. He last pitched two days ago. Back to the top and of the Angels lineup. The Angels. Anthony Rendon the making his way man. to the plate. Anthony. One for three. Rendon. As he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these Angels, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent hard contact. That's almost always going to lead now to positive batting. results. First baseman, Nolan. And here Nolan. is Nolan Shanuel. First offering and it just misses. Bullpen movement for the Rays. Jason Adam warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Davinsky getting loose as well. One down, base is empty. Hit on the ground to the right side. Shenton steps on the bag, two up, two down. Hey man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent base. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Mike Trout. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. Slapped hard the other way, but foul. Well, he missed a hittable off-speed pitch right there. Not sure exactly with the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. You're expecting it to make its move at the end. It never does. And you're tied up. And that's in the dirt. That one close ruled a ball. And it's two and two. And there's a ball. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional now walk, but he wasn't exactly trying to attack the zone either. Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. And first offering is fouled off. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. And the righty deals. Yeah. And a swing and a miss there. 0-2 is the count. Move to first. No, Trap back in standing. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. This is off the plate. Now one and two. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Right-hander kicks deals. Or checks his swing. Now it appeal to first. No swing, says Freddie Ferguson. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. That's the third out. So it's no runs, no base hits, no errors, and one man left. Eighth inning coming up. Angels five, the Rays nothing. We go to the eighth. Now up for Tampa Bay, Austin Shenton. Suarez. Still out there to pitch the eighth and working with a big lead. He's been excellent, really on his game in this one. And at this point, Ball. he wants to finish what he started. Counts one and oh. Kicks and deals. 
Foul ball there. Is there a debate to be had about shutting him down, maybe to preserve some bullets given the score? Absolutely. When you consider over the course of a long season, guys putting a lot of stress on that elbow, on that shoulder, but you also have to pry the ball out of a hand of a guy like this because he's so competitive. And a 2 1 on the way. And there's a foul ball. Right through there, got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. Jose Siri next to hit for the Rays. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Fastball gets the corner at the knees. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know, close holes that, you know, are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. Love how he let that ball travel, oh, trusted his there. hands. Nice job the of going the other way. Then works best. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Jose Suarez done for the day, and that's an excellent job from the reliever in the starting role today. Gave him some length. Back with a new arm after this. Matt Moore on the pitch here. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Ben Wortvet next to hit for the Rays. Known for his rocket arm behind the plate. That hey. one finds the zone. That's strike one. Boogan, the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump. And defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle. You can lose your mechanics. But the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way. And this is what this guy does. And an automatic double now as it hops the wall in foul ground. Off the bat, I thought they were going to score their first run of the game, and that feels like a tough break. But look at the bright side. Really good contact at the plate, and now they're working with not just one, but two runners in scoring position. So they'd love another base hit right here. Yandy Diaz now. That one's in there. Going one. And Chris, beyond the fact that he's so incredible defensively, he also can swing the stick. That one fouled off. Second and third, one away. And we're in the top of the eighth. Inside, inside just missed. All right, Los Angeles. Let's go, let's go. Two on, one out. Ground ball to the right side. Now two away as they get a run across. The batter number eight, second baseman, Brandon Lau. Now the number two hitter, Brandon Lau. Well, Boo, got to find ways to keep this inning alive. They're in striking distance. Can't give up now. And a good fastball to start him off. Oh, That's strike one. Two outs. Fouls one off out of play. Back to our left. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. A run on two hits, and they leave one. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. Angels five. The Rays one.
And we're back, and ready for the bottom of the eighth. Angels. So in now for the Angels, the base Brandon base. Drury. Brandon. Drury. The pitch. And well, that's, that's outside. And that is ball one. And delivers outside. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. And a good eye there. And that one nope. off That's the inside edge. You walked him. Well, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this and one. It's the go. second the time Angels. he's taken ball four. The and hitter. now the designated hitter for the Angels, Matt Thice. Outside corner for a strike. Nobody out. Runner at first. And strike two. No ball, two strikes. Next ball. pitch misses. Now one and two. Oh, two curve right there. Hitter kind of expects that. And good job of just showing that confidence and trying to get back into this count. Righty delivers. That one gets down for a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Looked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely, and that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. Logan Ohapi, the next to hit for the Angels. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. Knock right field. Headed for the plate. Now a long throw home. But it's offline. And the lead is up to five. Picks himself up at RBI. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And next for LA, Mickey Moniak. Pulls that one foul. Traffic on the bases with one already in. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Ground ball right side could be two. Acrobatic throw for one on the first, but he beats it. And a run scores. And next for the Angels, Zach Neto. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. That misses nope. the zone. And now it's even one and one. Still only one out here in the inning. And that's outside. That's the and the count's even at two. Good miss with that change up away. He needs a ball on the ground for a double play. Minimize the potential threat right here on the hitter side. Nice job of laying off that pitch. Towards first. And it gets by him. Monia around second, headed for third. The third baseman, number six. And the Rays, they go to the bullpen. Chris Davinsky. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. 
every outing matters for relievers in their numbers but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game back to the top of the lineup Anthony Rendon the next to hit for the Angels and the first pitch misses for ball one. Runners are at the corners, one away. Pitch one. misses there, two and oh. Two and oh. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Palacios makes the play. Runner tags from third. He's in on the sacrifice fly. It's 8 1. Well, that's the third run of the inning, and this team is doing a nice job of executing at the plate right now. So, in now for the Angels, Nolan Shonowell. 0 for 4, two strikeouts and two ground outs. That one's in there, and that's strike one. Activity in the bullpen. Jason Adam warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Oh one now. Hey. Swing and a miss and that's strike two. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just got to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And it's into the gap. Neto, round second on his way to third. Now he launches a throw over his head. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. Man at second here with two away. Now Trout gets a chance to hit. And first offering is fouled off. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game looking at the pitching matchup where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided no, as this. Um, but yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. Man on second, two down. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. Paredes fires over to first. And they're happy to just get off the field after that frame. So four runs on four hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Through eight full, it's the Angels nine. The Rays one. We go to the ninth. Now it's the right fielder, Harold Ramirez. Harold Ramirez. And the pitch. Now a screamer into the outfield. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. He's two outs away. Now here's the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Isaac Paredes. And first offering is fouled off. Moore in his 12th season 34 year old vet he joined the team as a free agent one down base is empty Aye. oh two is the count that's oh, off the mark and yeah, the count one and two, one ball, two he really strikes, committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone he knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone it gets hit hard by a power guy like this that's a nice miss right there One out, base is empty. Struck him out looking. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Up. 
Palacios in the box here lets that one go for a ball. In the air left field Ward running hard to get it. He's got it ball game and the Angels take this one in a blowout Suarez with his first major league win. Yeah nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should a start he won't ever forget. Nine one is how it ends for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB the show. I'm John Chubb. Thanks for joining us.